Dwight Stark. What's good? What's poppin'? My name is Denzel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, this is the part where I tell you why I didn't post in a month. It's just because, like, I don't know. I just didn't post in a month. But I'm back. But I'm always gonna be back. You know that. So, let's just get right on to this video. So, for this week's video, um, I'm going to be talking about the time I got stalked and, like, sexually... Not, I won't say sexually abused, but I was, I was, I was harassed. I, wow. My, just my manhood was just stripped away from me. Like, I felt so weak. I didn't feel weak. But it was just something new for me because I've never been stalked and someone's never approached me like the way this old crazy guy did. So let's just jump right into this video. Um, this is how it happened, right? This happened back in October. So anyways, I just came back from, um... Ghana is in West Africa, then I came back from London, I just didn't go to college, so my mom was just like, let's just travel a bit, so we traveled. Okay, so I come back October 15th, and then like a week later, all my NYU friends are like, oh my god, I missed you, we missed you, like come back, like let's hang out. So I was like, okay, boom. Took a train from my house to NYU, it's only like a 30 minute train ride, the subway, you know. So I took a train ride to NYU, and before you get to NYU, they live in like the Hayden Hall. Which is like, you don't know, it's just like different halls, but they live in like, not the farthest hall, but that hall, like, it's a big ass park you have to cross to get to that, to get to that hall. Like, that park is fucking humongous, it's called the Washington Square Park, you probably see like the big ass arch, arc, whatever you want to call it. I always come in from like different places, but this time I came from like the beginning because I was like, you know what, I need to lose weight, I need to lose calories, so why not just add, you know, a couple of minutes to my walk, like I'm not rushing anywhere. Okay, boom. I get from the start of the park, the start of the park, and I go at night, I always go at night. Well, I don't go at night, I go like at 6 p.m. That's not really night, but in New York, once, like, you know, like in fall time, when this is like 5 p.m., it gets really dark, so, okay. So I get in from, so at 6 o'clock or whatever, I get off the train, I walk through the park. It's not raining that day, it's always raining when I go there, it's surprisingly crazy. Okay, so I walk in, okay, I'm walking in the park, I see the same old, same old. And then, um, there's four corners. It's like one, two, three, four coming from the start of the park. So I come from the start of the park. This corner, like, to the side is, like, um, the drug corner. So I don't pass. There's just, like, creepy old men trying to ask you if you want to buy drugs. You don't get the memo. They didn't want to start following you. I'm not about that life. So, I never come in from that way, even though where the train, that's where the train comes from. I go, I walk my ass around the block, and I come from this way because I like my life. I love my life. Okay, I want to I want to die a billion years. I walked in, and when I walk in, it's really quiet and really creepy. But I don't really care because no one is really there. It's just like people making out with their girlfriends or whatever on the benches, whatever. Basically, high school hallways. Okay, I don't really get like I want to say afraid, but like I know that I'm more safe when I'm in the middle of the park because the middle of the park is really big. The park is really big, and um, everybody's there. It's always packed, you know? It's just people dancing, people performing, so I feel I feel at home. I feel safe. But, like, best in believing, best in believing, over there, where it's at, I watch Law & Order, and I kid you not, every time something happens in Law & Order, it happens in Washington Square Park, SVU, if you don't think, I, if you think I'm lying, just look it up. There's always somebody getting raped. Parts, I just don't trust parts, period. That's where just rapists go. Even though I'm 6'5", 350 pounds, whatever, don't, I really don't care. People will still rape me. I, they can rape me, like, I, yes, I'm big, I can overpower them, but I don't carry weapons. You see, when you have a weapon, that's, that's a disadvantage for me. So when that's a disadvantage for me, then I feel very weak, and then I feel like I can't do nothing. And when I run, if, I, if someone's chasing me, I won't run. If a dog is chasing me, Bitch, if a dog's chasing me, you saying bolt. Like I turn in my dash mode and I'm out. If someone's chasing me, I'm not really scared of people for me to run from people. Like, no, sorry, that requires me running, and then things start flopping up in my face, and I get really tired. That's just not me. So I decide to just walk. I'm almost to the I'm always to the exit. Walking, 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 and then some guy approaches me first. I see my friend, and I'm like, hey, what's up? Like I haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah, what's up? And then he comes, he's like the guy walks up to me, I'm talking to my friend, and he's like, yeah, get along. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, yeah, just get along. Like, I always try to act like I'm, you know? So I'm like, yeah, just, just don't worry him. Just like, keep going. I'll talk to you later. Like, I'm about to go to the building, so I'll just talk to you later. He approaches me, and he's like, come over here. I'm like, sir, I'm going to where I'm going to. I don't like to be stopped. I don't like to be bothered. No, I do not want to buy drugs. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do Adderall. I don't do Zanny. I don't do anything. Coke, anything. I don't do anything, so just be by your way. He was like, I want to talk to you about something. I'm like, 
I'm okay, so I'm walking. As I'm walking, he's following me. And he was like, yeah, you look good. I'm like, huh? I'm like, what? He was like, yeah, you look good. You look real nice. I'm like, thank you, sir. See you later. Walking. He cuts in front of me. And like, he stops me. And stuff like, situations like this, when someone, like a homeless man, or someone just comes up to me like that, I just shove them and I go about my way. But this guy looked like he was from jail. He looked like he just got out. Like, no one can't tell him anything. He, th that's how he looks. And, wow. And if he approached someone big like me, then you know. He was in the right state of mind, because if you approach someone big like me, like, you don't know I could be swinging. I could be one of those, like, big people that, like, always mad, you know? So, for him to approach me, I'm like, yeah, he's crazy. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, thank you, sir. I keep walking. He cuts the front of me again. He's, like, touching and rubbing himself while he's looking at me up and down. I felt so uncomfortable. Oh, my. I've never felt so uncomfortable in my life. And I'm like, is this real? Is this really happening right now? And he had a Jamaican accent. Don't, like, what? Jamaicans aren't gay? What? Like, what? What? I was just so confused. I was like, okay, let me just keep walking and act like I'm like, okay, thank you. Let me just act polite. I'm walking. And he runs up and he cuts in front of me again. He was just like, yeah, come by the park later if you know what I'm talking about. I'm like, sorry. Mm -mm. Where do you live? I live in that building right there. Yeah, of course I'm gonna tell of course I'm gonna tell him I live there. I'm not gonna tell him I live in the Bronx. I'm not gonna tell him I live in another borough so you can like stalk me going to the train. No, bitch, I live in Hayden Hall. I live in NYU. Yes, that's where I live. And if you come touch me, there's security guards in the front. So he said, like, Oh, you live here? I'm like, Yeah, I live here. So he was like, Oh, I was like, he was like, Oh, I never see you around here. I was like, Oh, because I just transferred. From where? Don't ask me questions. I just transferred. That's all you need to know. I'm like, I don't really like talking to strangers, but see you later. Goodbye. See you later. So, you thinking about it? I'm like, fuck shit. I don't always say goodbye because I don't know. I just feel like, see you later. Because whoever I talk to, I'm like, okay, see you later. Like, nice chatting. See you later. You know, I never say goodbye. Like, how about they die, you know? I'm that type of person. I'm like, okay, see you later. I'm like, no, sir. I mean, goodbye. Goodbye. Because, you know, you said see me later. So, I know. See you later. I'm like, okay, whatever. Boom. I get in, and I am rushing to tell my friends about the story. I am rushing to tell my friends about the story. So, I get in, tell my friends the story, and then, like, two hours, three hours later, after talking with all my friends at NYU, congrats to them, because I would not be doing NYU. That's not the type of school for me. The work is not for me. The teachers are not for me. The only thing that's for me in NYU is the parties. That's what's for me. That's what's for me in college. Parties, not education. People are like, okay, let's go to McDonald's. Like, where they at? There's everything. McDonald's, pizza. Everything, everything, ice cream, everything. So we get down. We always go to McDonald's, and I love McDonald's breakfast. That, that's the only thing I eat from McDonald's because now I don't eat McDonald's, period, because it just makes me sick to my stomach. But at that time, I was like, okay, let me go get like a sausage sandwich, whatever, from McDonald's. Okay, go to the McDonald's place. We walk in, and I'm like, and I was telling my friends, wait, how about if he's there? He's like, no, he wouldn't be. And I'm like, how about if he is there? I have, God gave me a gift, bitch. I sent something. Something, something's not right. We walk in there, I'm like, I feel he's here. Like, I don't want to look around because how about if I make eye contact with him? I get there and then I order my food. I turn around to wait, like, behind my friends because they need to order and I see him smiling at me. I've never been so scared in my life. My heart is just like pounding, pounding, pounding. My heart is beating so fast. I'm mean, just feel my heart is like, what happened? Like, that's the guy I'm talking about. He's smiling. He's with like a bunch of his, all his old perverted friends. They all look like they just came out of jail together. They look like they came in a package. Like, like the Brady Bunch. They all looked crazy and it was one as big as big as me and i'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god so i leave i'm like just get my food from me i already paid like i just leave and i try to go back to the hall and like no just wait like we all together i'm like y'all all girls and there's one boy and he's like 110 pounds so what what are y'all gonna do for me i'm sorry i i see the pros and the cons just more cons than pros so you know what i'm gonna leave so i left okay and i'm like you know i'm not gonna leave them whatever so i had hide behind the car and i was really dumb at the time I was wearing a yellow mustard shirt with like black jeans, black shoes. But I'm hiding behind a black car through the windows and he sees the mustard sweater through the windows. Bitch, I thought the windows were tinted. I'm like, fuck, I'm so bright right now. And then I'm hiding, he comes right behind me. I feel someone, I'm like, what the hell? He was like, you try to hide? Don't be shy, sweetie, don't be shy. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God, he's like, yeah, you nervous, yeah, you nervous. I know you don't want your friends to know, but yeah. You nervous, I know you nervous, but see you later. I'm like, 
if this guy does not leave me alone. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to hit him. Because he looked like he had something on him. I kid you not. He looked like he had something on him. Like, I don't know if to hit him. I don't know rather to run. But you know what? I don't run. That's how I don't do it. I'm sorry. Do I look like I run? No, exactly. I don't run. So, I was like, whew, okay, whatever. Try to be nice to him. Okay, my friend, let's go. And every time I went, y'all always leave there like at 3 a.m. I don't know. I had nothing to do. I didn't go to college. I wasn't really doing social media. I was just basically just, I don't know. I was just like, I was very... I was very couch potato at the time. It was really disgusting. I didn't have nothing to do in New York. Like, it was disgusting. That's why I'm here in California. So, that's all I'll do. Just go hang out with the college kids or whatever. Make it feel like I'm in college, but I'm actually not in college. But it felt like I was in college, though. Knowing the kids, knowing the dorms, knowing the security guards. They already knew me by first name basis. That's how I used to go there every single day. But then I was like, you know what? Let me stop going there every single day because I look disgusting. I'm going there, one not even go, going to the school every day and not going like how do I look like I might as well just go to college if I'm going there every day like I'm in college so I just stopped going there but that's besides the point me no 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 not me so every time I would just call my Uber and you know what Uber's when they say it's two minutes away three minutes away they lying so I wait until they call me like oh where are you I'm downstairs like hurry up before I leave that's when my ass rushes downstairs I get my ID from the security guards and then I go by my way. I get in the Uber and the guy sees me. Like every time I get out, I always look at like my surroundings to see where the Uber is, like in the like to the left or to the right of me. And this guy sees me and he is running. He is running. He's like running to like thought we were gonna do something first. Like what? He was running and then I was like, oh my I've never jumped in a car so fast. I'm like hurry up, so, 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 hurry up, hurry up, hurry up and go. Get in the Uber and the guy sees me, like every time I get out, I always look at like my surroundings to see where the Uber is, like in the like to the left or to the right of me. And this guy sees me and he is running. He is running. He's like running to like thought we were gonna do something first. Like what? He was running and then I was like, oh my I've never jumped in a car so fast. I'm like hurry up, so, 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 hurry up, hurry up, hurry up and go. So that's what happened. That's the first day I ooh, the first day I met him. Now, the next time I met him was, like, this week after. And that's something I've never experienced before. I'm walking. He said, hello, troublemaker. I'm like, oh, my God. I know that voice. Let me just keep walking like I don't hear something. Troublemaker. Okay, walking. He has construction boots on, so I can hear him when he's running on the floor. He's running towards me. I'm like, let me just go into 4th Street where everybody's at so nothing can happen to me. Like, if anything, the cops got my back. They're right there. They can hold me down. We get there. And he's just, he just doesn't get the point. I'm like, I'm not into this or whatever you're trying to, sorry, I don't, I don't do that. Like, I'm just trying to go to school, trying to get my education. He's like, you go to school here? I don't see you here every day. Like you said, you're supposed to go to school here. I'm like, I go to school here, sir. I go to school. I switch halls. Yes, I switch halls. Yes, best believe. I'm like, tell me where I live. And then he was like, I know you don't live here, but it's whatever. He's like, damn, so if you live here, can we go to your dorm? I said, What? That's when I had enough. That's when I was just like, sir, leave me alone before like I call the cops or I bring the cops the next time like you come around me. He was when I said that he backed away, and then he sees me again. He's always catching me. I don't know if he like, if it's a coincidence or he's following me or he just knows when I come out the building. He comes out and he's just like sees me. He starts rubbing himself. When I say rubbing himself, rubbing his stuff, and I'm like. You know what? That's it. That's it. That's the like the last day I went to NYU, so I just stopped. I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna stay home. I'm about to move to Los Angeles, anyways. NYU people, pieces, deuces. I'm out of here. I cannot come to this again. And I might go to New York in June. And if I go to New York in June, of course I want to see my NYU bitches. Of course, darling, I need to see my people. But if I see him when I when I go there, it's really gonna be a problem, to be honest. Like, I'm not even. Oh well, if he has something on him, he has something on him. He cannot like do that. Like that's not happening. So that's it for this week's video. So yeah, I might be doing two videos a week, but I'll just talk to you about that next week. So like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, you see me, I'm doing it. You watch, I post. You don't watch, I don't post. So watch. And until then. Bye. And see you later, my darlings. See you later.